back for a very special video today. It's all inspired by the wonderful, the fabulous, the unequaled Adele. I am so in love with her music. I think she is so, so beautiful and such a wonderful inspiration for those of us plus size gals out there. We don't have a lot of really great style icons and I think that Adele is just a fabulous one. She has a really great sort of vintage but slightly modern sense of style and she's just the most beautiful redhead ever. To me Adele exudes grace and um, class but also some like rolling in the deep. She, she's got that little bit of like with class and uh, I feel just so inspired by her. I feel like something in me kind of woke up when I first discovered her. I was like... Like, I didn't know that there could be a singer like this that would be, like, not a representation of me personally, but just, like, she's plus size. So for me, it was like finding a role model, even though she's younger than me, <laughs> but just finding someone to look up to. And I'm really happy that she's around for the younger generation, too. When I was younger, there weren't really that many plus size women to look up to. I mean, Jennifer Lopez was pretty much as close as they got. And even though she's very curvy, she's not really plus size. I'm getting kind of off track here, but you know, like, there's just so many role models out there for women in general, but one that I really felt spoke to me is Adele. So today I did a makeup tutorial slash fashion video all inspired by Adele. So if you see this Adele, just know that I love you and you are so, so adored by your fans. My first step today is to roll my hair in Velcro rollers to get a little volume. What I'm doing differently today is I am actually backcombing the hair so that I will get even more volume, more lift. I actually did a video a couple weeks ago on how I roll my hair in Velcro rollers with different tips and tricks. If you're interested, I'll go ahead and have a link to that in the description box. To start my eyes, I'm applying Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. This one has a nice amount of color to it, so it's almost like a concealer slash primer all-in-one. So it's one I like to go to when I'm doing a more neutral look. Next, I'm taking a mauve pink kind of neutral background singer type of color. And what I'll be using this for is as a transitional shade for my crease to my highlight area. And this sort of pink shade is something I see on Adele a lot. It's very flattering for a redhead, but honestly, if you're not into pink eyeshadow, you could use a taupe or something else that is more to your taste. Now I'm going to start making some magic happen to the crease with the Sonia Kashuk Eyes on Neutral palette. I love this palette. It does not get enough attention because it's fabulous. Anyway, uh, I'm going to use three different colors in this palette to create the color that I want. What I'm using to apply these colors is a MAC 217 brush. It's sort of like a fluffy brush that has a pinched ferrule, so it has two sides. I'm picking up color on one side of the brush, and then I'm going to flip it over so that when I deposit the color onto my eye, I'm only depositing it onto the crease, not the lid, because we want a very structured, very defined lid and crease to create an Adele-inspired look. So as you guys can see, I'm really jamming the brush in there. I'm really trying to get the nice defined crease. By actually applying that pressure to your eye, you're going to get a more even uh, placement on both eyes because you're jamming it in at the same spot. You're kind of hitting that socket line. So go ahead and, you know, roll it in the crease. I can't sing like Adele, but I can paint my face kind of like her. Next I'm going to use a large flat brush, this is a MAC 252, and I'm going to pick up a few of the different light highlight shades there, kind of mixing them together to create a custom shade. And I'm just going to apply this to my eyebrow area and kind of share the love all over that. Then I'm going to pick up the brush that I used for my transitional background singer color earlier, and I'm going to blend them together. These shadows blend so easily. Using the same brush I used for the highlight, I'm going to pick up one of the peachier shades from the Sonia Kashuk palette and apply that first to the lid. And then I'm going to go in with some of the other colors, like a little pinky neutral color, a little bit of a highlight shade, and sort of, once again, create a custom blend shade. Keep in mind, you can use whatever you want. This is just what I used, and I'm all about making custom colors in the moment. I'm using that flat brush to create that rounded shape of the lid. So I'm gently placing and patting and being, being very careful about where my placement is. And then once it's on, I sort of sweep my brush over to make everything nice and smooth. These, I'm gonna say it again, the shadows are so soft, they're fabulous. My eyeliner today is my go-to Physician's Formula Eyeliner Booster Serum 
blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the shade is ultra black. I get a lot of questions about what color I use. I use the ultra black. The regular black is like a yucky charcoal color. I'm actually starting out with the outer wing. I want to make sure I get that the same on both sides. So just go in for that, go in for the kill. Then once I've created that initial line, I sort of tuck the eyeliner in the opposite direction and bring that in towards the lash line, creating a nice seamless, smooth line that flows really nicely with my eye. I always like to start with that small flick because I find that however that looks will inform you as to where you want to go with the thicker liner, whereas if you just kind of go in there and start drawing a thick line, that might be okay for like runway makeup, but when you're trying to create a specific look, you kind of want to take your time, do it slow, do it right. And so you can see I'll do the outside and then I'll come back and I'll match the inside to what I've done on the outside and then I'll thicken up the outside a little more and then match the inside. It's all about balancing and taking your time and romancing your eyeliner a little bit is a much better idea when you're trying to do a specific look. So once you've whipped your eyeliner into shape, I'm going to go ahead and switch focus to the face. I generally get, will get like half my eyes done and then switch focus, that's just how I roll. I'm starting out with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. I'm totally obsessed with this primer at the moment. It has a really good texture to it, which I really feel like helps lock on foundation and creates a smooth texture for the skin. It really helps to make my skin appear, you know, primed and poreless. <laughs> then I took a little coffee break, you know, as you do with the Tinkerbell mug. For foundation today, I'm using the Ila Mosca Skin Base, and I have to tell you guys, this was kind of a risk because I had never used Skin Base before, ever. I had kind of tested the shade on my face a little bit, but I had never really put it all over the face, so this was a risk and it totally paid off. The coverage on this foundation is insane. I actually probably wouldn't have needed much concealer if I wasn't doing an Adele-inspired look. Of course, her look is very glamorous and very done and very perfected so we, I needed a little bit of concealer in a couple places. My concealer today is full coverage concealer from Makeup Forever. I love this stuff. It's very very full coverage. It's perfect for photo shoots and stuff. It doesn't tend to bounce back with the camera and again it just gives me that flawless look that I was going for. When they say full coverage what they mean is like holy crap full coverage. So I use this to kind of highlight the skin because it's so full coverage and it's a tiny bit lighter than the foundation that I'm using. So I'm using that under the eye, down the nose, on the chin, just different places that I want to pop because Adele's look is very contoured and very highlighted and again very perfected. When it comes to doing brows for an Adele look, her brows look effortless. They don't really look like they're filled in. They don't look overly arched, or overly this or that or the other thing. So I just sort of combed mine into place and then in honor of her I ran a little bit of Gingerella pencil from Vanity Mark in them because of course she's a fabulous redhead and also because I had this pencil when I was a redhead and I just love the name. Oh my god, Gingerella. It's so perfect. I can't even. I let the concealer and foundation sort of bake for a minute to sort of set in before I decided to apply my powder, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm applying a little bit more than I would normally need because I want this to be super perfected and it was actually really hot the day that I was filming this. So keep in mind, you don't normally need to use this much powder. One last final pass over the eyeliner, I use the Inglot AMC gel liner to go ahead and mattify the liner since the Physicians Formula liner that I used has sort of a glossy patent leather kind of shine to it. Adele is known for her big thick lashes. Today I'm using Red Cherry 101s. They're very thick but a little wispy on the end to give you a little flirtation. And yeah, just applied them as you see here. Put the glue on, curl the band, stick it on, done done. While the glue on my lashes was drying, I took a little bit of the Clinique High Impact Mascara and just used it to blend in my natural lashes in with the falsies since my own lashes are blonde. They need a little help in that department. Adele always has eyeliner on her under eyes, so I used Rockstar by Urban Decay. It's a little bit purple and I've noticed her use some colors that kind of look a little purpley-ish and I just think they were really flattering on her overall coloring, plus you know, I like purple, so I don't know. And yeah, did the whole lash line with that. And then I used a champagne color for the inner rim. I used the Makeup Forever 23L Aqua Eyes Liner. I don't know why I had to sing it. Then we get to contour. And I know Kim Kardashian is known for her highlighting and contouring, but honestly, Adele does a fabulous job of it as well, or at least her makeup artist does. I'm using Ben Nye's Contour One and a MAC 168 brush. And I'm using the brush to 
add emphasis to the hollow of my cheeks, the, the underside of my chin, uh, the jawline, even down the nose a little bit, just to make my features pop out more. Before I did my blush, I applied some lip primer to set up while I was applying the blush. So this is the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. For my blush today, I chose a warm, dusty rose from Cargo. It's called Tonga, one of my absolute favorite blushes of all time. I don't know why I don't use it more. Then we get to my actual lip color. I use the Too Faced Perfect Lips Perfect Nude Lip Liner and just apply that all over my lips, basically mapped out the edges first and then sort of filled it in with the liner. Then I use Spice Spice Baby Lipstick, which is kind of a very natural, neutral sort of shade. Mixed with the lip liner, it was maybe a little tiny bit too nude for me, so I took a little bit of Coral Fire Lipstick, also from Too Faced, it's the, their Lip Creme Lipsticks, and I applied that to the center of the lip and kind of mushed them together to sort of mix in the colors. I think it's the perfect Adele color when it's all kind of combined together. The dress I'm wearing today is by Clements Ruberio for Evans UK. This dress is actually a inexpensive version of the dress that Adele was wearing during her Grammy performance this year. So it's kind of cool, I kind of feel like a rock star while I'm wearing it. This dress is really interesting. It has the little bit longer than knee length, uh, almost like a pencil skirt type look to the bottom with a lace overlay, which is really, really beautiful and has a lovely texture to it. The top is sort of a nude sheer with a lace overlay as well. And then after the bust, it becomes very sheer and like a black dotted overlay with a little bit of sparkle on it. Underneath that, there's actually another nude piece underneath, which helps you wear a regular bra if you wanted. I also like that the longer sleeves are there because if you're not confident showing your arms or your upper chest or whatever, for, you know, you have that covered, but you're not covered up completely because it's a nice sheer. And I think it's really quite slimming to be honest. You want me to focus it or? No, I just did. But okay. you can refocus it if you want. Okay. I'd be like so tortured to have my eyes open. It's <laughs> <laughs> enough cam whoring, I think. I probably have enough footage.